Hi, kitty cats. It's time to address one of the more ludicrous explanations for the transgender experience that is still undermining the validity of transgender identities. I'm talking about autogynephilia. Autogynephilia is a concept originally developed by Ray Blanchard in the 1980s to attempt to explain transgender women, that is, people assigned male at birth who identified as women, Despite a startling lack of evidence, as well as being condemned by WPATH, the World Professional Association for Transgender Health, autogynephilia still appears in the DSM-5 as a specifier to psychiatric disorders. And as a result, autogynephilia still represents a weapon leveled at transgender women such as myself in discussion today. So what is autogynephilia? Let's start just by breaking the word down into parts. Philia is the love of an object. Gyna is pertaining to the female reproductive system. And auto means applying something to oneself. So the meaning of the word autogynephilia is a love so great for the female reproductive system, a person wants one for themselves. This concept immediately reduces transgender identity to physical structure alone. It ignores the cognitive, the behavioral, the social aspects of the overall human experience. And worse, autogynephilia turns transgender women into fetishists, who are then fetishized themselves. If Blanchard's theory is true, it should also imply that human masculinity is only about fetishizing women. And conversely, the typical human femininity is only about fetishizing men. The full spectrum of the human experience becomes only pursuit of a sex act. Autogynephilia, and its contraction to AGP, is now used pejoratively to describe transgender women. It's become a shortcut to dismiss a long, difficult act of introspection and action and replace it with a nebulous sexual connotation Freud could never have dreamt up. But identity is not solely about sexual arousal. Identity is not solely about physical structure of our genitalia or otherwise. Identity is a complex of how we look, how we think, how we feel, how we act, and how we express those characteristics within our social environment. When Blanchard introduced his concept of autogynephilia, he did not introduce a new theory of gender or a new theory of identity. What he did was attack the transgender experience. Autogynephilia intends to pathologize the normal human experience of discovering and manifesting our identity and gender. So if you hear the word autogynephilia in discussion about gender, you can be sure the speaker intends not to respect any experience outside the cisgender, heteronormative experience. And then I recommend you to leave the immediate area as quickly as possible. For an inclusive and complete theory of identity and gender, I invite you to watch my presentation, Sex versus Gender, on my theory of gender as a mediator. And for a real look into the transgender experience, I invite you to view my playlist, Ami in Thailand, which documents my life leading up to gender-affirming surgery in July 2024. You can find both by clicking the link in my bio. Now please, like this video and follow me for further transgender education that treats the transgender as only human.